Hi, this is Jennifer Heyer with Early Learning Ideas. Today I'm going to show you the many ways that you can use my number activity mats. In the large number square, kids can finger trace the numeral. They can place small items like buttons on top of the numeral. They can trace the numeral with wiki sticks or even with a coil of Play-Doh. In the next square, kids can practice writing numerals with a dry erase marker or crayon. In the finger counting square, kids can pick out the corresponding finger counting card and place it in this section. The concept can be reinforced by asking kids to show the quantities with their own fingers. This square can also be used to represent the number with hash marks. The number of activity mats come with a set of printable 10 frame cards that kids can use to fill the 10 frame space. But really any type of small counter can be used in their place. And use two color of counters to practice composing and decomposing numbers. The final space on the number mat provides a place for kids to represent the number with a quantity of unifix cubes or small blocks. If you don't have unifix cubes or blocks, you can use the printable cards instead. And to practice composing and decomposing numbers, kids can also use more than one color of unifix cube or block. Well, I hope this gave you some ideas to use your number activity mats. For additional ideas for your kiddos, visit me at earlylearningideas.com.